Welcome back. So now it's time to kind of figure out how we can actually add a form to our application. So let's just jump back to the code right here and jump into Angular IO. And if we scroll down, there's something called fundamentals inside Angular IO right here. And it's under tutorial. Uh, there's something called fundamentals. And here's actually extended information about all the different areas that you can do with Angular. And uh, there's, for example, something about the architecture in Angular. And if we scroll further down, there's something about making forms. Now, forms is a way for you to kind of uh, make input fields for a customer so he can start adding information to the system. So a, a user of your system can actually start creating information to the system. And we're going to pick, there are two form types to pick from. There's reactive forms and there's template driven forms. And we're going to pick reactive forms in this series right here. Now you can go and check out template driven if you want to. I'm more into reactive forms. Now there's a small introduction. You can read those the difference between the two if you want to. I'm just going to dive into actually writing writing the actual code. So let's just scroll down. And the first very important thing to start using forms is we need a reactive forms module right here. So let's just grab that and add that to our app module TS file and get started using these reactive forms. So I'm opening that module TS and I'm adding my reactive form module and importing it. There we go. Now we have a reactive form. That pretty much means that now we can start using these forms in our application. Sweet. Let's just scroll further down and figure out how we can actually use the form. Now I'm going to pass a little bit of information right here. I'm actually going to go down to grouping form controls all the way down here. Because we already have a form available, we just need to figure out how we can actually make a form group. So a form group is kind of a way for us to create a form that has a list of specific information that I need to create a new entity in my system. And in my case, it's going to be a customer. So let's just copy this profile form right here, jump into our customer add component and just paste that in right above the constructor here. And we're just going to call it the customer form and we're going to import the form group and we're going to import the form control. There we go. And then I'm going to add one more field because I don't only have first name, last name. I also have a field called address. So let's just add that down here. Address. There we go. New form control. So you can you can add as many fields as you want to. It's for now you'll just add um, an empty string inside the form state. I'll get into that later. But here we go. Now we have a customer form that's actually going to be a list of all the properties that I need to create a customer. Don't worry, this will start making sense if we start adding the actual form inside our system. So let's go back to the code here and have a look at how do we actually use a form group inside our HTML. And it seems that we just have to add the good old form tag that you need to create uh, forms inside HTML and then we need to give it a bit more information that's Angular specific. Let's try and copy this and paste it into our add form right here. There we go. Now notice the first thing I need to inform about is the form group. Now my form group was actually called the customer form, right? That was the name of the group that I created. So let me just try and show you that's the name right here. The customer form is actually a form group that I created, which is the top level, right? And the form group in my case contains three different form controls. The first one is first name, the second is last name and the third one is actually address. So notice it's first name and last name in here. So let's just also add the address as a label. Let me just try and add that down here. So look at this, we have a label and the label is going to be address with an input field of text. And again, the form control name is address again, mapping to this specific address right here. And that's actually how simple it is to kind of make a form inside Angular using reactive forms. Now we could do a lot more than this, but this is a good beginning. So now we have kind of an address form group with three different labels, first name, last name, and address. And that should actually be all we have to do to kind of start working and looking at the form. So let's just have a look at our beautiful add form component right here. And notice now we have first name, last name, and address, and we can start adding information in here if we want to. Now, of course, we can't save this in any way right now, but at least the information is now available and we can actually start showing how we can start adding new customers dynamically instead of statically. But how do we actually tell the form that we want to submit the code right here? So again, let's jump back to Angular Reactive Forms right here and find the one saving form data. Now it seems we can use something called ng submit inside our form right here to explain to the system that we want to save the data at some point. So let's just try and add that inside our form right here. And I just want to call it save, not Dave, save. There we go. So I just want to, when 
I click a submit button that we'll add soon. I just want to be able to call this function called save inside my code. So let's just try and take that, create that function inside the TypeScript file. So instead of add custom, I'm just going to call it save for now. So now that we have a save function available, all we need to figure out is what it actually takes for us to trigger that ng submit. And we need something called a submit button for that, which is basic HTML form. You need to have for each form, you should have a submit button to kind of trigger the submit uh, request from a form. So let's try and figure out how we can actually do that. As we scroll further down, there's actually information right here about how we can add a button of the type submit. And that's actually the button that's going to trigger the submit. So let's just copy this button and put it into our code right here, right below the last label. Inside the form still, notice I'm still inside the form tag and they'll add this new button. Let's just get rid of the disable for now and just keep this and let's just call it save instead of submit. It's really not important, but just to kind of have the same name as our function. And there we go. And now let's try and see what happens now if we actually press the save button and the submit type right here will then trigger the ng submit up here, which will trigger the save function, which should actually save our customer. Let's try and have a look. If we go and add customer, put in some information and press save and go back to our list. There we go. We have Ole Olsen, right? Now we still didn't add him dynamically, but at least now when I click the save, it's actually adding a new customer, even though it's still a static customer, it actually adds the customer now. And notice the second time around here, I pressed enter. And because I have that button, it also adds, um, just with pressing enter key, it also adds the customer instead of you, you don't have to click the actual button to get that save function. Sweet. But of course, I want to I wanna add a real customer that I just created inside those fields. So instead of adding Ole Olsen every time, I want to add a real customer that I put inside the field. So let's just try and figure out how we can actually get information about the customer that we just created. Now with the customer form, it's very easy. You can just say customer form, I'm sorry, this dot customer form, of course, dot value. And then you'll actually get back the actual list of, uh, sorry, the actual fields of your labels or your input fields inside the form. So this custom right here is actually a list of all the properties you see inside the form group. So you'll have a first name, last name and an address inside this customer you have right here. Now all I have to do is kind of just add that customer to my actual system right here. And that should be all and now it should actually run. So let's just try and see if that actually works. If I look in this area right here, it seems I have one more problem because the customer won't have an ID right now. So we'll have to just change this for now. We'll just add a local ID right here. So we need to somehow get an ID for our customer when we are creating him. The easiest way to do it is just for now create, just like we have a local list, we're also going to just have a local ID available, just of the type number. And it's just going to be a number. <clears throat> Let's just actually set it equal to one in the beginning. So we'll make an ID right here and just set it equal to one. And then we'll just say ID plus plus to get the ID for the first customer. There we go. And then we'll say ID plus plus for the second customer as well. And then as soon as we create a new customer down here, we are actually going to add um, just a new ID for that guy as well to get a new ID for each customer, just like we normally would. Now this is going to be changed later, of course, to let the REST API at the back end take care of figuring out what ID a customer should have. But this should actually do the, the job for now. Sweet. So that's it. Now we should actually be able to add a real customer instead of just a static one. Let's do add customer. Let's try and put in the first name, last name and address and save this and have a look. There we go. Now we don't have Ole Ole. So we have a real customer. Let's just try and do it again. And this time let's try and just, there we go. Save this guy and let's have a look. There we go. So now we can actually start adding real customers with real IDs. And um, that's it for this lesson. Next time we'll have even more fun. See you.